Oh, do we have some life advice for you today? So this is something I always, always do. And I know when my wife, wife, and my now wife, my then girlfriend got with me first time, first time, the only time that she said she really, really liked it. And it so happens that I've been watching a YouTube video about somebody, our oh, YouTube, TikTok, for somebody, a family called The Curls, absolutely love them, think they're brilliant. And she did a video about him doing this as well. And all of a sudden, in my notes, I've got a note to talk to you about it today. I'm like, oh my God, it's so well. It's just all coming together. It's a trifecta. Something that I always do with a wife, something that I've got notes about because somebody else told me, I've read about it. And I've just been listening to a TikTok yesterday about it. So it's all amounted to this perfect synergy. I'll build it up now. It's probably not going to be that good. Right. So the advice here is for all you men out there. Always, 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 always walk on the road side when with your woman. No excuse. If there's one thing, one thing that, well, not one thing. This is one of the things that I need and want to teach my kids. We must always, always, always walk on the road side. Why? Because we're the protectors. If a car comes, we get hit first. If they feel more protected, and guess what? We feel like a man. We feel like we're protecting. It gives us significance. Everybody wins. So always, always do it. And for you feminists out there, whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. Who wouldn't want that? I don't know. I listened to an interview the other day, and somebody said it was it's sexist and was going mad, absolutely mad, at this bloke on a chat show on television Saying, not chat show, an interview show, I think it was GMTV or something, because he opens doors for women and think it's polite and lets them go first. And he also stands up in a train, on a bus, if there's no seat, so a woman can sit down. And this woman was going mad. I think that is lovely. That's what I do, and that's what I teach my kids all the time. And she thinks it's sexist, horrible, piggish. I, I, wh what is the world coming to? And so I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I do what I perceive as right and correct and manners. And that's how I've been brought up. And I, I just, I can't understand why somebody else doesn't like that. I respect your opinion, but I'm a, I strongly, strongly disagree with it. If you believe that I'm out of order for standing up and giving my chair to somebody else or walking roadside, it doesn't make any sense for me at all. I want to be the provider. I want to be a protector and I want to make sure my family feels safe. I feel that's my job. That's my job as a man, as a male, as a role model. I'm not saying that my wife isn't a role model. Of course she is. Anyway, I'm getting too deep, but that's my opinions. I 100% stick by it. Always, always, always stand up on public transport. When, a, when if, if you're sat down, when a woman's standing, you're no man if you continue standing. You're no man to me. I lose instant respect for anybody, anybody who doesn't do that. I've been on holiday with people who their partners haven't done it. And they remain seated and I lost instant respect, instant respect. I just can't understand it. I, I can't fathom it whatsoever. And always, always, always walk on the roadside. All right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you. And remember, strong opinions, loosely held. This one's not loosely held though. All right, I love you. Bye.